You guys are so nice. You're letting me review good songs. Thank you. Here's to the ones that we got. Psst, disclaimer. Well, I guess I don't really need this disclaimer because I'm actually complimenting them and I want you to go check them out and everything like that. The only thing I would say is that, remember, this is my opinion. Yours can be different. Be respectful. All right, let's get into this. Three, two, one. People need to start playing the youngest rapper more because every song they have produced so far has easily been an 8 to 10 out of 10. This is no different. Instrumental, banger, I love it. It's so unique, it, I love it. And also, YouTube 666, who doesn't remember that? That's perfect for this thing. And then it just like completely comes out of nowhere and becomes even more of a banger when that beat drops. It's creepy, it's not too creepy. And it's lovable, it's, it's just so good compared to the dog shit you guys make me listen to. Dan, the schizophrenia is really getting to boyfriend. Obviously everything here is going to be a 10 out of 10, so we're not going to do any ranking this time. Just assume everything here is 10 out of 10 or above. If you know it, you know. See guys, it's really not that hard to make a good joke song. You don't just need to plug in goofy ah ah sound effects. Hey! You can do more. This is an amazing joke song. The vocals aren't the greatest, aren't the perfect, like the greatest thing in the world. I can definitely see improvement with that. But everything else is amazing. I love the beat. I love everything about it. And it's hilarious that when I first saw this, I'm like, huh, I wonder where this song originates from. So I looked it up and then I see this and it just makes me burst out laughing that such a great song goes with this mod. What a great way to wrap it all up. Brilliant, love it, let's move on. Okay, before you click off, I know it's a David Bambi song, but just give it a listen, it's not spammy, I promise. The instrumental subtle, it doesn't have Bambi saying, do you want, do you want, or anything like that. It's just a nice, simple beat, and it's really good. I wish Dave and Bambi did more things like that. You can clearly tell that the creator is talented, but all they want to do is make the freaking same thing they've done every single time because, ooh, it's quirky. Stop. Just make better songs like this. This is great. Do more of this. More of this. More. More. Today's sponsor is myself. Hey, do you want to get into the next FNF rating video? Well, here's an easy way. 
go to the description below and click on the Game Banana link to the FNF Influx mod and post yourself playing it. Make sure to tag me in the video so I can see it, and if you play it, you have a very high chance of getting into the next sub rating video. Now remember, this offer is limited time, so make sure you do it right in this instant, or you can never see your videos in there again. Oh, spooky. All right, let's get back into the video. Three, two, one. so happy when I saw this song because this is a perfect final song. It's not overly spammy but it has a large difficulty spike which makes it perfect for the final song. I also love the characters vocals, they harmonize so well together. I'm so happy when I was digging through someone's channel to see if they had any bad FNF songs, I was able to find this OST because it is just really good, it's really underrated mod, honestly go check it out. Yo, why is my dude built like someone from Castle Crashers? Ah, classic. Dave and Bambi, eat your hearts out. Here is how you make a good spam song. Oh my god, this is a vibe. This is one of the earlier FNF mods, too. This is like just after um, Witty came out. So this is a really early FNF mod, and he just, just doesn't show up as much anymore. Everyone shows, oh guys, look, it's Witty. Oh guys, look, it's Tricky. Where's Zardy, man? Like, this was perfect advertisement for their game, but I miss him, honestly. He did get a second version, but the second version does not hit as hard as this version, especially the ending. <laughs> A classic that deserves a high rating and will never be forgotten. Well, at least by me. When you think it's over, the Influx team comes out with another banger of a song. Dark Knight, banger. All of my songs, banger. Long Way Home, banger. They're all so good. I wish this was longer. This is the only thing that falls short on. Is It's short, but it's within that time, it does so much. It's so unique. It just sounds like it just stands out so much from other songs. And it just hits so hard. Loving it, man. Keep it up, Influx team. <laughs> This song is called Hypothermia, which is a reskin of the Frostbite song, but done much better in my opinion. I just feel like the vocals work much better in this sense, and the designs are just so good. This used to be an old creepypasta that was never finished, even though it was hella good, because the designs were awesome. And I wish they didn't finish it, but this is a great take on it. I'm loving this so far, and you gotta wait until Sans kick in. 
then things get real. The last thing I say before we skip to the sans part is that the only thing I wish they did is have an animation for when they're actually cooling down the character. Other than that, I can't really see much fault with the mod that can't be easily nitpicked away. Oh my god, Sans Undertale! God damn, this goes so hard. I can't believe people have not seen this as much as they should have. Please go check it out. It's such a banger. I've listened to it 35 times on repeat and I cannot stop. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god, such a classic. I know it's an FNF song from the actual Friday Night Funkin' game, and usually you wouldn't think this would be on this list, but I think Rose by itself holds its own weight. This whole week six had some really banger songs, but Rose just sticks out from the rest of it, probably because I'm a big fan of chiptune music and everything like that, but all the remixes that come from it too are just so great. It's just such a good vibe in general. I will be real though, the ending was kind of weak, but it was still solid, I guess. heard the song Polybibis, but it's a really good song. It's not like the greatest song out there by any means, but it's still a really good top tier song, and that's why it's on this list, in my opinion, of course. I do love the chip tune in this, and I feel like nothing's like really over spammy, it has a good difficulty spike, and obviously I love the vocals. They pitch really nicely throughout the whole song. <laughs> Like even in this part, you think that I would say, oh, that's spammy. No, that's a good way of making actual notes. It's not spammy, you can actually see it as an actual player. And if you mess up, you're like, oh darn. You don't feel like you've been cheated out of the thing, which is another big thing. The only thing I hate about this mod is that the, well, sprite is really generic. Not even the swirls, not even moving. That's the least you could do. Today's mod shoutout goes to Funked Up High. I don't do mod shoutouts oftenly, but this thing is hella underrated because this song is an absolute vibe. And it's called... Well, I don't want to actually mispronounce that. I don't want someone clipping me out of content saying the word sex. Ah, sh This is already good, it gets better. Though I'm gonna be honest, the reason why it isn't on this top 10 list or whatever list you wanna call it is because I would probably just give it a 9 out of 10, honestly. I wouldn't go out of my way to constantly listen to it over and over again like I have to have a song for this list.
Again, don't do mod shoutouts much, but make sure you go check these guys out. They're hella underrated, and make sure you tell them that I sent you. Bye-bye.